Hey besties, hi bestie. Hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good unlike these K-pop companies that are putting random alphanumeric codes as K-pop group names these days. So, as you must have already figured out from the title of the video, today we are going to be tier ranking K-pop group names. I have made a similar video on my channel before, which is one of my personal faves, but it's time that we do an updated version in that. Original video I have discussed both group and fandom names, but in this video I'm just going to be discussing group names and maybe I'll make another video for the fandom names, we'll see, but for right now let's get started with the video. There are going to be 5 tiers and I will be putting each group name in the tier that I think it fits the best. The 5th tier is called the random key generator because I refuse to believe that professional people actually sat down and thought yeah that's a good enough name. We'll do let's name our group a BC69 and debut them. The 4th tier is the gatekeep tier because the names in this tier should have been gate kept and never released in the out like that. The next tier is called the lack of creativity tier because these names are kind of okay but lack a bit of creativity. The second tier is called the she cute tier because these names are actually quite cute. The first tier is called the genius tier because I think these names fit right with the group's concept and are a good choice for a group name. Now that we are done discussing the tiers let's move on to each tier individually. In the 5th or the random key generator tier we have groups like T1, 4, 1, 9, Up Tenshian, B104, GWSN, WJSN, MBLAQ, a B6 and SF990, that these group names are abbreviated, and they do, have a meaning for example SF9 means sensational feeling 9, which represents their 9 members and the sensational feeling that their group overall carries, or MBLAQ is an acronym for music boys live in absolute quality, which is weird flex, but okay or the group T1419 which surprisingly has a meaning, because that name actually looks like one of those write the below code, to ensure that you are a human things, T1419 stands for teenagers who met at the age of 14 and 19, so the point is that all these acronyms do have their own meaning. But I just can't help but look at these names as random alphanumeric values because of how random these sound. Like this Daniel voice just had a stroke pronouncing them. And honestly I can relate there's no kick to any of the names when thinking of a group name I think it should be taken. Into consideration how it's going to sound like when pronounced out loud. Because there's no way in hell I'm saying I stand T1419. I don't want to be made fun of lol. Cause that sounds like a highly secure Instagram password lol. In the 4th or the gatekeep tier, we have some of the most insane group names there ever could be. This list consists of group names like BS. From Isn Discord 9, Kep 1R, -er, Teen Top, BAP, Lip Bubbles, Bob Girls, Rocket Punch, N Dot Flying, Sex Kiz, Nasty Nasty, FX, ONF, Only One Of, Got 7, Shiny, B to be okay so first of all, why the fuck is a group named Nasty Nasty? I need an explanation. Why is a group named BS? Does it stand for bullshit? Why is a group called Teen Top? And is abbreviated even worse. Because Teen Top stands for Teenage Emma Boy Emotion Next Generation Talent Object Praise. Monopoly. Play. Station. Tower. Cricket. Music. Cute. Sexy. Nonsense. YouTube. Cat. Crow. Meow. Like what in the actual does that teenage emo boy emotion next generation talent object praise mean? Lol I'm wheezing right now I mean I can do better than that. Let's make a full form for my YouTube channel name Unist, Y for yours, O for, only and, another O for obvious, N for nice, I for intellectual, S for spiritual, T for talented being so from today, Unist means. Yours only and obvious nice, intellectual, spiritual and talented being honestly that makes more sense than whatever team top was anyways moving on. Other group names in this list that just make sense are lip bubbles. I'm not even going to search what that means. I don't want my ability and my right to sleep taken away. We have N dot flying, another name on this list that makes me question the sanity and thought process of K-pop companies. 
is Kepler, or however you pronounce it, it's so complicated, in written it's Kep 1 ER, but when I went to Mr. Google, they said it's pronounced as Kepler, so I don't know which one of the pronunciations is correct, it is possible, that this Daniel voice might be pronouncing both of them wrong. Apart from how it's pronounced, what does it even mean? Different pages are showing different and the most random meanings. For example this the word means Kepler, deriving from Johannes Kepler and his laws of planetary motion, I mean okay, what that's got to do with a K-pop group or maybe I'm just too dumb to understand the intersection of physics and K-pop anyways why is M dot flying and not dot floating? I guess we'll never know, in this tier, we also have got 7, we don't know what they've got, but we know the amount they've got. They've got 7, we have shiny, why are they shining, we don't know, but what we do know, is why bob girls were named bob girls, because drum rolls please, they all have a bob hairstyle, you know what, I'm going to make a group of my own. I'm done with K-pop companies, so I'm naming my group Bob Girls because of multiple, very important reasons number one being the stress from my studies, have me balding when I am just 20, number two, these K-pop names have me stressed which is again causing me to bald and number three, maybe I'm just genetically supposed to go bald, so anyone who wants to join, can send me their CVS on my Instagram, which you guys should follow by the way, with that being said, let's now move on to the next tier hair falls. Yes I gave y'all a fandom name your la called hair fall. Okay so enough of being bitter, it's time to be a little bit nicer now, so let's put our goody two shoes on, and discuss the third tier which is simply called the lack of creativity tier the groups in this tier have cute names, that have a good sound to it, but, they lack a little bit of spice in my opinion, but that's fine, after going through the last two tiers, I think this one doesn't deserve, that much bashing in this tier we have group. Names like CLC which stands for Crystal Clear, cute name but doesn't really align with group's concept neither their company's shady businesses which isn't very crystal clear worthy we have Stacy. Now Stacy is another cute name, but it's more fitted to be like a member's stage name than a group's name, but the names full form that start to a new culture, makes sense I guess. We also have Super M in this tier. Again a good enough name, even corresponds to their group's concept. But cold bean better as it sounds, like you know what lol, we have Vixx on this list too, Vixx is a cute name, but I can't help, but think of Vix every time I hear the name Vixx, and don't get me wrong, I love Vix it smells so nice, so I don't mind the resemblance in name, but I just think, that Vixx copied Vixl Mayo. Next we have G Friend, it's a name, that you would expect from a K-pop group. With how obsessed K-pop fans are at making these K-pop idols their girlfriends or boyfriends or just friends, G-Friend is a cute name, but doesn't have the wow factor to be in the second or first tier in my opinion another group name on this tier is NCT, Near Culture Technology, if it was Nicotine Culture Technology instead of Near Culture Technology you bet your ass. I would've placed this group in the first tier, but for Near Culture Technology this is what you get buddy. Okay so now we have a tier called she cute, these are some group names, that I personally find cute as hell, and I have no problem with this tier, has groups such as BTS, Mamamoo, Atis, Seventeen, Monster X, Itzy, Ispa, Blackpink Red Velvet, EXO, g Idol, Twice, Dreamcatcher, Girls Generation, Wonder Girls, Enhippen, Everglow, Luna and Stray Kids now I know some would argue, that BTS is a mediocre name, but the thing is, that BTS the acronym has got a kick to it, and the full form bulletproof boy scouts or Bangton Sunny Eondon, is straight up badass I don't care what any of y'all say to my very upfront biased self I will defend my case, that BTS is a very nice group name other groups that have very cute names are Mamamoo, last time I said Mamamoo, was a cute name many people came to the comments, and said how Mamamoo reminded them of cows, and I was like what? About it, Aunt Cow's Cute Mama Moo is a cute name, whether it reminds you of cute cows or not fight me if you can. Also I used to dislike the name Stray Kids, but I think I have come to a realization 
that it's a nice name considering the competition it has, it's got a kick to it, and it matches their concept what else do we need, at least they weren't named Pi Dog Kids. Groups like Luna, Esper and Exo are some of my favorites from this tier, because of how fitting they are to each group's concept there isn't a better name for the group Luna as. It directly translates to Girl of the Month in Korean which hints at the lunar calendar formula in the most obvious way. Their whole concept is based on a law that I think is best described by the word lunar same way Exo's name was derived from the term exoplanet which means a planet outside our solar system. The group has an objective of making music that goes beyond boundaries and to complement that the name Exo sounds like a Great choice same way we have Espa, that carries the idea of bridging the real world to the virtual world by music, so their name that stands for Avatar X experience is a great choice in my humble opinion. Okay so the first tier or the genius tier has some of my absolute favorite group names of all times. This tier has names like TXT which stands for Tomorrow by Together, Kingdom, Icon, To Anyone and Card. These five groups have names that I consider genius. For Kingdom it's because of how well it fits the group's concept. The group Kingdom has a fictional universe where all seven members are going to be representing a different king from history in every comeback and complete their storyline to culminate into a giant and expansive universe txt has a dynamic concept that changes with every comeback but they never fail to tie it to the storyline and to the previous comebacks they quite have a magical world where five boys who are friends are trying to stay together while fighting with their own feelings i think the group name tomorrow by together is a great pick to reflect the group's main concept theory the group name Icon is my favorite because of how simplistic yet powerful it is. Icon is derived from the word Icon, but the letter C is replaced by the letter K to represent the fact that they are set to spread K-pop worldwide. See how simple yet so catchy and appealing same way we have to anyone that could be pronounced as 21 or to anyone. I think that's a simple but very attractive group name, and considering the actual icon the group to anyone was, I'm proud that 21st century's music is represented by their name. Another contender on this list is Card. In Card, K stands for the King Card that represents BM, while A stands for the Ace Card that represents J. Sef. R refers to the Black Joker and a Colored Joker Card that represents Somin and Jiwoo, respectively and D is open to interpretation it could represent hidden cards, which is cards fandom name or any artist that they collab with, to me I think it's a very intelligent name, card is one of the most popular co-ed groups in K-pop, they have 4 members just like there are 4 suits in cards the heart, the spade, the diamond and the club I think that's another cool resemblance between the group and their name. So I guys I think that's pretty much the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you all want me to make an updated version for the fandom names as well. As always thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit the like button and comment a hair full here to let me know you made it to the end of the video subscribe if you haven't already and if you are a returning subscriber here's a gift for you buddy. Non kinchane go ya ho yogin mezik shop. So show me. I shy ya.